In this lecture, we are going to have a practical understanding of Contest API and how it works. So, we are going to implement a price contest that will enable components in different tree levels to read a props that is passed at the top level. And right in this example, we are going to use component Z to display the price of items without having to props drill through the intermediate component C and Y. And by the way, I have created a React application called Practice Contest. So quickly pause the lecture at your end and then generate a new React application. All right, having done that, let's quickly create the components directory. Right within the SRC, right click, new folder, components. And right within the components directory, we are going to create component C, Y, and Z. Component Z.js. And lastly, we are going to have component Y.js. Beautiful. So I just have to take the Z to the extreme over here. Command B to close down the explorer. And then let's generate the functional components right within the files. And now we are going to focus on the right edge of the tree. Okay, so when you observe the right edge of the tree, you will realize that component Z is nested within component Y. Component Y is nested within component C. And lastly, component C is nested right within the app component. So let's quickly follow this pattern and transform it into code. So following the pattern of the tree, component Z is nested in Y. So here is component Y. We are going to import component Z from component Z. And then let's render it over here. Component Y is nested within component C. Go back to component C. Import component Y. And then here we have to render component Y. Lastly, component C is then rendered in the app component. Go to the app component, import component C from component slash component C. And right here, we have to render component C. It's as simple as that. All right, so here exactly is where the fun begins. To implement contest, we have to follow four steps. Step one is to create the contest using the create contest method. Right at the top. And please do not do it right here. Okay? Don't do it within the component. It has to be outside here. Beautiful. And now we are going to create a prize contest. Const price contest equal react dot create contest having done this step two is to take your created contest and wrap the contest provider around your component tree so here i just have to highlight this guy for now and then cut it off and over here we are going to do price contest dot provider Perfect. And then we have to paste the component in between. It's as simple as that. All right. Let's move on to step three. Now we are going to put the required value on your contest provider using the value prop. What I'm going to do right here is to take in props, which is value equal 
Now we have to specify a price. And I'm going to do $200. And lastly, step four is to consume the value within any component using the contest consumer. So before we proceed, we have to export the contest. Come here. I'm going to do... So this guy right here, we will be able to import it in a different module. And now the challenge here is to consume this value in component Z without having to props drill through component C and Y. Let's do that quickly. Come to component Z. So at the top, we are going to import price contest from the app component. Let's quickly wipe this off. So here we're going to have price contest dot consumer. And we are going to have price. So right here, we are going to return a div. Right within the div, we have to display the price. Save. Make sure to run your application and then check out the browser. And here's it. Can you see that? Beautiful. Let me zoom up a little bit. Alright, so now we've been able to consume the price that is maintained in the app component right in component Z. Even without having to drill across the intermediate component. Friends, contest is indeed powerful and I love it. Okay, so the next in line is to take in another contest because in your application, chances are you are going to have multiple value to be consumed in a different component. So let's see how to implement multiple contests. Head on to the app component. Let's also assume we want to display the name of the item. Okay, so first we displayed the item price. And now we have to display the item name. So let's quickly create a new contest. Export const, and I'm going to call it item contest equal react dot create contest. Having exported it, we will be able to use it in different files. So quickly here, it is going to be nested within item contest dot provider highlight the closing tag command x to cut and then paste it here let's quickly format the code to have a proper indentation beautiful you can format the code with prettier of course you should know how to do that by now all right so having done this we have to provide the contest with a value. So the item contest is going to have a value prop. Let's assume Samsung. So having done this, we have to consume this contest. Head on to component Z. So right here, we also have to import the item contest. Having done that, come here, highlight. Command X to call. It. And then we are going to return the item contest dot consumer. Open and close curly brackets. And then we are going to have the function over here. And right within this function, we are going to return the div. Command V to paste the div. And over here, we also have to display the item. And then, just have to do item, like this. So, let's make it more readable. Here, I'm going to do price contest. And here, I'm going to do item contest. Alright, so let's quickly format the code with Prettier. Perfect. Save. Let's check it out on the browser. Can you see that? Price contest is $200. The item 
is Samsung. Friends, this is extremely awesome and I love it. So now we are able to get multiple contest value. But one thing I want to say is that this approach is quite bulky. So to reduce the complexity, we are going to make use of the use contest hooks. And then you are going to see how we can consume multiple contests just in few lines of codes. This is all for now. And in the next lecture, we are going to practice the use contest hook. See you in the next lecture. Stay focused and always take care.